I don't know if anybody is watching. Good morning. Um, I'm actually talking from inside my garage. I've never done that before, but I felt like I was supposed to um, uh, come on this morning. So if you see me, if anybody's watching, say hey. Um, I just felt like I was supposed to come on this morning, and I've been posting a lot on Facebook about following your gut. And, you know, I post that a lot because um, I've had to do that myself. But sometimes to have somebody say it, um, I guess, live where you can see it, um, somehow it seems to hit closer to home, I guess. You pay attention. Anyway, um, I didn't write anything down, so I'm just doing this impromptu. But I want to say, if your gut is telling you to do something even if it doesn't make sense to your head, because follow your gut, it's kind of a knowing, but where we get confused is because our head tries to rationalize everything, it tries to figure everything out first. Whenever you have confusion, like if you have to make a decision um, and you're just like struggling with confusion and frustration, that's because your gut already knows. I've discovered your gut always knows what to do listen to your gut, but your head, we have, we're wired with a it's survival mode, um, self-preservation mode. And so your head is probably going to try to talk you out of it. It's going to say, that doesn't make sense. I don't like it. That's going to hurt. It's going to suck. Um, I don't see how you don't have money to do that. Um, you've never been able to do that. You've never been happy. You've never been successful. Um, so on and so forth. So, um, and then your heart, your heart may tell you something completely different too. Hi, James. Um, your heart may tell you something, you know, completely different. So whenever you have a decision to make and you have turmoil, con like massive confusion, um, listen to your gut, follow your gut. And the reason why I'm telling you this is because God has been blessing me a lot lately because I've made the decision to follow my gut instead of listening to my head or my heart. I'm listening to my gut, and when I'm doing that, God is opening amazing impossible doors like this. This is my car. This is my new Lexus. I, you know, told you about it. Hey, James, <laughs> told you about it. I'm in my garage. Yes, I know that's crazy, but I wanted you to see I actually, this is my garage, and I actually have a white Lexus. If somebody would have told me several years ago, even a year ago, that that would be possible for me, I would have said, there's no way. But I followed my gut. Um, hi, Cheryl. I followed my gut because I didn't ask for a Lexus. I just wanted a, a white car. I love white cars. Um, I always have. And so I put that on my vision board. Um, I would see the light just went out, so hopefully you can still see me. Um, I put a white car on my vision board. Um, I would look at cars online, pictures, um, things like that. Um, I even have trips. You know, speaking of those of you who think, you know, I want to take a trip, but there's no way I can do it. I can barely pay my bills right now. I don't even have five dollars to put towards a trip. Um, I'm here to tell you it's it's possible. So what you need to do is follow your gut. If your gut is telling you, you know, I really want to take this trip or we need to take this, you know, trip, our family needs to get away or my husband and I need to get away, whatever you need to do, put it on your vision board. Start looking at pictures. Hey, Carla. Um, start um, uh, looking at pictures of the trip of where you're wanting to go. Um, you know, put it on your vision board, uh, watch videos online. You know, there's YouTube videos of cars, houses, you know, trips, whatever you're believing for. And I'm not going to say it's going to happen immediate because um, it didn't. You know, the things I've been believing for, they didn't happen immediately. Some of them have taken years. Like my travel business, you know, I've been a travel agent for 27 years, um, but it's only been the last uh, maybe two years, I guess, that it's really taken off. And, you know, it's hard work. It really is. I think people think, you know, I'm a travel agent and it's fun, you know, which it is, but it's work. It's research and it's, it's a job. Um, yes, James, that's, that's perfect. Read The Secret. Um, I highly recommend 
reading the book The Secret by Rhonda Byrne. That's where, you know, it all started for me. Um, you can even, um, they sell on Amazon, they sell in your bookstores, or go to thesecret.tv um, is the website. Um, but get a vision for your life, but follow your gut. If your gut is telling you to do something, like right now, um, to be honest, God is telling me to start looking for houses. And I live in a house, I'm renting a house, but he's telling me to step out and um, buy a house. And so even though to my head, it's like I can see where it might be a possibility. Um, it's going to be a little bit of a stretch for me, but I can see somewhat where that's possible, but I'm stepping out anyway, um, because I didn't know, like I, you know, I got to go to Cancun, you know, last year and I had that on my vision board. I didn't know how that was possible, but I got to go, um, I had this car, this is proof. I have this, have a car that I was, you know, believing for, for years. And I just found out I'm getting ready to go to Cancun again this year. And I was, I didn't even have that on my vision board. I didn't even have that on my radar, but God made a way. So I'm going, um, you know, don't let your head talk you out of things you know you need to do. Your gut knows, even if it seems painful, um, even if it, it's like there's no way I could actually do that. There's no way I could take a trip. There's no way I could have a car. There's no way I could live in a house. My credit, you know, my credit's really bad, you know, or whatever. Just if your gut is telling you to do it, I promise you, I promise you, I promise you, if you will follow your gut, God will honor you. God will bless it. And he'll probably show up and show out. I mean, he'll show off. I mean, he's he's showing off for me right now. And he'll do it for you. You know, if you knew, you know, everything I've been through, God is shocking me and amazing me with his goodness right now. And... Trust me, if he can do it for you, because even two years ago, I was living in a, you know, crappy apartment. I was barely able to pay my bills. I even had to ask my, my church to help pay my rent once. Um, I was having to go to food pantries, you know, just to help make ends meet. So I've been there, you know, um, so if I can do it you can do it but it takes work it takes digging but you know put your put your faith out there follow your gut please 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 follow your gut do whatever it's telling you to do if you need to speak to someone you know do that um if you need to move out of where you are um you know if you're believing for a car you're believing for your business to take off for those of you who have said that you know you want to join my uh, travel business team but it's like i don't have the money to do that right now okay so yes it is possible start setting your change aside you know collect your change in a jar have a garage sale um what else what else um you know ask your friends you know put on facebook hey i'm wanting to start a business would you know each of my friends would you give me a dollar to do it you know, there is a way. I'm telling you, stop. Stop listening to your head that's saying there's no way. Stop. Just if you have a gut feeling to do something, step out some way. You know, if you have to, like if you're bleeding for a house, carry carry a key in your pocket and just touch it every day and say, Lord, thank you for my house. You know, find a, you know, key car that, you know, your own car key. Thank you, Lord, for my, you know, my new car. Um, you know, for your trips, just start buying little things for your trip, you know, suntan lotion or, you know, start setting aside, you know, get your suitcase out and every day say, thank, you know, thank you, Lord, I'm taking that trip. Just stop, stop, stop listening to your head. Stop saying, I can't, there's no way. I don't see how follow your gut every single time, follow your gut, do whatever you feel to do take small steps then another step then another step then another step towards that and i promise you god will show up and bless you more than you can ever imagine love you guys have a great day bye